around on the boards. Get that base coat on, boys. Let's see it. <laughs> it's an Alfera now going left. Like, so far, really just relying on power surfing on his opening right. Let's see if he gets wild here. Feels like the perfect time to be surfing. There right? you go. Beautiful stuff right there. There's some risk put in the middle of the wave. He's mixing up his maneuvers here. A lot of different tricks down the line, throwing the tail. So remember, he's already got a big reverse on the outside. Uh oh. And somehow cannot cannot even explain how hard it is to catch back up to this wave from behind. So for the second time in a row, Italo does not complete the wave, but did some work and some damage on that outside section. He did. I, I think it's still going to be a good number. You know, a couple of mistakes. There was a mistake on that one top turn before he did the reverse. You know, he made up for it almost the next turn. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then the fall at the very end, you know, that the moment when he had to get around it, which actually, even though it didn't look like that great, it was very difficult to do. We have been, seen many people get caught behind and actually get back to the open face. So uh, good do job. You, do you get credit from the judges for fixing mistakes? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, it, it's the overall performance. So, I mean, there's a lot of good points in this wave. I mean, there was those two combos of this, you know, the big fin drift and then again, a little bit more accentuated, but then gets caught behind. This is where you're like, oh, wow, he's not going to make up. Oh, sure, it's Ichilo. He's going to get there. And then this fall at the very end of this as well, you know. So the numbers are going to be suppressed with a couple of mistakes. But, man, there's some great surfing in there, and the board looks it looks great, you know. And I think the adjustments the surfers have been doing with these uh, smaller, more compact surfboards is paying off. Be able to do everything, all that stuff out. So uh, really something special, something I'll never forget, and actually something that I think we've got to do a lot more of. Um, you know, like you say, if you're just a system for the, for the basic chair, uh, it really just is I have to all over the world. Uh, and I think that's probably why so, uh, so many of us think is that all those local locations do so well. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully we can see more mess up in the future. And I got to ask you, Jordy, I know that you, you have a similar childhood to mine where you grew up basically in a surfboard factory. I mean, have you done any shaping? Have you ever uh, experimented with that? Yeah, look, I've shaped um, a lot of my life. Um, but in the last, I would say, since COVID, uh, I've really got back into the, into the, into the bay.